Welcome to my studio. My name is Sandra and I have a passion for sewing and I hope that you do too. Today we are going to talk hand stitching and I'm going to show you how you can use probably one of the most common hand stitches known as the invisible stitch to hand close the pillow. Now the invisible stitch is also known as the ladder stitch or the slip stitch and it has many different uses. You, as you will know, find out today that you can use it to hand close the pillow. But I sometimes use it to um, hand close the bottom of, say, my drapery hems or even the side of my valances. And I also know that there are times that folks will use it in garment making as well as closing up the seams for stuffed animals. So now join me as I show you how to use the invisible stitch. I'm going to demonstrate how you can use a ladder stitch to close up the seam in a pillow. As you can see here, I already have the outer shell of my pillow made. And then you will just push in the seam allowance. And then either with your fingers, um, hand press, or you can use an iron to create a nice fold to use as your guide when you're stitching. Now once you have added the fill or the insert to your pillow, go ahead and just pull the top taut, aligning the edges, and just add a few pins because this will help keep the uh, edges together as you stitch. Next step is go ahead and thread your needle. I'm going to be using two strands of this all-purpose uh, Coates and Clark thread. Now you will want to match your thread to your fabric, but for demonstration purposes I'm going to be using this black thread so that you can see what it looks like as I weave the thread in and out of the pillow. Go ahead and knot the end Now you're ready to begin your stitching. Okay, so we're going to begin by taking your needle and run it right up inside this corner. And I'm going to pick up the top fold and bring it out. This way I will be hiding my knot and my tail on the inside of the pillow. Now I'm right handed so I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. And now I am going to run my needle directly across to the other fold from where I came out. And I'm going to put my needle right in the top of that fold. And I'm going to pick up about a quarter of an inch, make about a quarter of an inch stitch. And then I am going to take my needle and I'm going to run it into the bottom fold directly across from where I came out on the top side. We'll call that the top fold. Again, I'm just going to run my needle up underneath that fold about a quarter of an inch. I think the smaller the size stitch you take, the nicer that it looks. Again, I'm going to alternate and go back to the top fold. Come back to the bottom fold. Continue to alternate. And if I stick my finger in here, you can see that my stitches begin to look like the rungs on a ladder. So continue going back to the top fold, picking up about a quarter of an inch and pulling. Now after you have about maybe you know uh, four or five stitches, go ahead and pull your thread, pull it nice and taut, and you'll see how it begins to just seal up that seam making it invisible. 
Now I'm going to continue stitching till I get to the end of the opening. Now that you have finished uh, sewing your seam, go ahead and give your thread just a little tug to close up the seam. And if you pulled it a little bit tight, go ahead and run your fingers along the edge and just give it a little pull. Now I have brought my needle out along the top here uh, where I have stitched from the inside. And I'm just gonna run my needle down one more time and bring it out. Sometimes it's a little tough because you have the seam there. Give it a little pull. Put your finger on the thread, creating a loop, and run your needle up underneath, and give it a little tug, and do it one more time. Just run it right down into that seam making sure you're getting in that seam. Again, put your finger on the thread, creating a loop, run your needle under, and pull it taut. Now you're gonna to wanna to hide the tail. So again, just run your, put your, finger, uh, put your needle down into the seam, and you can take out your holding pins and then run your needle underneath the fabric, just like so. Give it a tug, pull it out. Then you can take your scissors and give it a cut. And there you go. You've hidden the tail of your thread inside of the pillow. I thoroughly enjoy having you here in my workroom with me. And I hope that you love this invisible stitch as much as I do. If you love to sew, I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and go ahead and hit that little bell icon. This way you will be notified the next time I have a technique to share with you. Hope to see you soon.